The UEFA competitions have now come to an end, the Europa League of course and also the Champions League very recently being played and they were both very intense, both came out with the surprising winner, the, the underdogs if we can say so and there is a possibility to get some FIFA Ultimate Team content that is going to be related to the Champions League and Europa League final that has just passed. As we can see here in FIFA 20 we did get SBCs released so we can take a look at them now. These were the SBC logos we did have. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just the FIFA 20, the award winner card design. Now, I believe this year, I would like to say we haven't actually seen any cards released with it. It's an okay card design. I'm not the biggest fan. I think I like it more from like FIFA 17 when it was all just purple. I don't really like the watermark of FIFA 21 going over and it looks a bit tacky. It, it looks like something is off in my opinion, especially with all the amazing graphics, the fades and everything that we could have. It does look a little bit off in my opinion, but you can see it as well in FIFA 20. It was the exact same thing. This card design has very, 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 slightly changed it's just replaced with fever 21 and maybe the colors as well but you can see it in the sbc logo as well behind the champions league and europa league behind the rectangle it is this watermark and it is this background design and also the sbc logo that green is the exact same color so if we just take a look at what we got last year in FIFA 20, we did get the Europa League SBC first. Now this was Luke de Jong, severe of course, and we can see he did get a very high rated card, 95 rated, a beautiful dynamic image there of him with the Europa League cup trophy and i actually think that we are going to get this year as well of course these type of sbcs as the whole purpose of these videos and if you actually track the dates when both of these were released we did also see a tiago for bayern munich if you do remember this was like right before he transferred to liverpool and this card was absolutely amazing three overall ratings higher than his team of the season card, which was really good. So I do think that we are going to be seeing the same thing. The dates, what I was talking about, it is around two to three days after the final did take place. It, these did come out. So for the Europa League, it should pretty much come out first, but maybe EA Sports could be doing them both at the same time. That is definitely a possibility, but I'm really hoping that they're going to bring us these cards because I believe they weren't really too expensive. This is a price, of course, wrong now because S SBC fodder is very different, but it is still, of course, going to be a very nice SBC if we can see it this year. So if we just hop back into the presentation here, we can see that we're going to be starting off with the Europa League player. Now, it is going to be goalkeeper, really. We did, of course, go to a crazy penalty shootout in the Manchester United and Villarreal game so he did actually score his penalty De Gea unfortunately missed his so there is some credibility a lot of credibility of thoughts of course for him and he did have to save he was in in the goal for all of those penalties so I do think he could definitely be a man of the match card and he could be deserved to get this man of the match award winner card however in FIFA a goalkeeper La Liga it's not really anything too interesting I do think it could be better if we get maybe a midfielder defender defender or an attacker it's a lot more usable in meta terms now moving to the next card of course this is going to be the goal scorer the main man it is going to be Moreno so he did have a very good performance and his penalty of course was very well taken so I think this could be probably the most realistic man of the match card that we are going to be seeing I think everyone can agree that he was probably the best player on the pitch and I do think that EA Sports are more likely to choose him over the goalkeeper purely because he's going to be more usable and they could even give him a bigger boost like we did just see that we had some crazy ratings last year so I wouldn't be surprised if they give him even higher than a 93 rated card possibly 94 maybe even a 95 rated card that could be very good indeed and of course the dynamic images with these is going to be the real selling point I think it could be absolutely amazing so moving now on to the champions league we could possibly see Havertz. we do know that he had of course an well he had an amazing game of course he did get the single the only goal in the match and he was very happy the interview i watched both of these games and again the dynamic image here absolutely stunning right mid position we have given him because he was playing sort of on the sides uh, for the Chelsea game. So I do think if, a, if he does get a right mid position, it could be something unique, different to 
his normal camp position and that could be another selling point another reason to complete this SBC you can also then therefore link him up to showdown Werner if you did go ahead and complete him and Werner is going to be getting his upgrade as well so the next player we are going to be seeing, the last player in here, I do think that this is going to be the most realistic one for Chelsea. It is going to be Kante. Even though he didn't get a goal, he just had an absolutely stunning performance in the midfield. He was getting onto lots of passes. He was just a key part of the Chelsea win 100%. He was running for the ball all the time, winning it back in crazy positions, tackles all over the place. Absolutely amazing. And I do think this Kante could get an amazing card. I think it is going to be better than Havertz because Kante already is sort of that meta card that is usable. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have a high rated card now, really. He does have that Champions League card that some people were thinking is live and was going up in price. But this could definitely be a card, sort of like a team of the season level upgrade that is going to make him very usable. But this SBC, the price of it, is just going to be something, something on another planet, I think. You are going to have to comment down below and we can have a discussion on that. But the other ones, the SBC might be 200k. 300k but for Kante EA Sports definitely gonna tax on that he could be upwards to around 600 700k maybe similar to that flashback Marcelo that we did see but definitely let me know down in the comments below again I have to state the dynamic images could just be absolutely stunning so fingers crossed we are going to be getting this I think maybe on Monday maybe on Tuesday I think now it is likely for both of them to be released at the same time so fingers crossed we are going to be seeing these award winner man of the match final SBC cards for the Champions League and Europa League EA Sports of course they do have the licenses so it's just down to them to make it happen thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one